Hello. Hi, good morning. I'm speaking to Mr. McManus. Yeah. Lawrence. Yeah. I've been told here locally that you're involved in a house repossession order in March 2019. Is that correct? Uh, in Dundonal, uh, Top, Top McConnell. I'm the mediator working on the case, but I can't discuss it with you. No, uh, you're the mediator. Are you working on behalf of the defendant or the plaintiff? I'm working on the whole, on behalf of the whole family. And are you advocating that that family not leave that property in March? The what? Are you advocating that that family not leave that property in March? Am I advocating that they're not going to... Who am I speaking to, first of all? Yeah, well, I can't discuss it with you. No, you will come to know me in March, because I won't allow that family to get uh, uh, taken out of their house. There's I... nobody living in the house. The house is vacant. The house is vacant. That's right. The house is vacant, but it's in the family name. My my oh, family... Whole... Sorry? Yeah. The whole family owned, yeah, and the whole family has agreed that the house is going to be sold. Yeah. Well, why though? So, because well, of your your words? No, it's not my word. No, I, you know, they want to sell it. They want to go on. It's just it. Who's? Uh, can you confirm the family said that? Because I spoke to them. They don't all want to sell it. All of the family said that. I have letter of authorization on that. All of them. Is the authorization done thoroughly through the district court? Yeah. Yeah. And you can confirm that? Yeah, no bother. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. No, I don't I don't believe you won this. Because I feel like you pushed them over the edge to go and sell that house. You advised them I that if you don't, you bully them. I, that's where I'm coming from. I work legally myself, Lawrence. Yeah, good man. And I tell you something, that family won't be losing that house in March. Now, I lost my family home in Waterford. Similar circumstances. House was vacant. Yes, that's right. Two-generation home. But everything in the house got taken out by the bank. Now, I don't know the particular bank involved in this one. I no, won't no, tell you no, that, but I no do know. Bank. It's, it's no bank. I don't, I don't believe in banks taking over houses. No, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't condone this. This is a, a family thing where the house is going to be sold, the land is sold, the people that, it, it's over, done and dusted, okay? I don't believe it is, Lance. You, 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 you come across like you're, you come a lot across like you have a little fear in your tone there. You see what happened in Strokestown 20 minutes from here the weekend. I guarantee you, Lawrence, you can take my word for it. I'll have over 100 people at that house in March. Like okay, I did in sir. Strokestown. I don't think you know who you're talking to here. I couldn't. And if you, that. if you, or you couldn't care less, I know you don't, but I'm warning you. I'm warning you. That if you advocate for that family to sell that house in the foreseeable future leading up to March. Do you hear me? Have a very nice day. Sir. Do you hear me? You but hear I'm me? You oh, you nice hear me? Day. All right. Same to yourself. Have a nice day. Agriculture appointed you as yes. the herd keeper for the animals. And yes. and so Mr. Robert Marin is the that's solicitor. Right, that's, that's right. Right. And he 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 confiscated the grant uh, uh, and give it, uh, probably he got, he, he gets the money that was in the grant over to them. But I never got a children. Ah, right. So they they were never got a children. They were pocketing the money that you should have been getting. You're dead right, Sean. Dead right. So, so Mr. Robert Marin refused to award the grant monies paid down from the Department of Agriculture. Oh yes, yes. yes. And they were paid, but who no, got no, them? No, they were paid. They were paid. Mm. They were paid. So this is corruption by Mr. Marin's solicitor. Sure, sure. It's not, it's not corruption, Sean. It is corruption. It's dreadful. Yes, it it's, is corruption. It really is horrible. And uh, Mr. Marin also refused to pay your sister Eileen's share of the proceeds from the That's land right. from the land sale, despite yes, the fact yes. that he had the same in yes. his possession for nearly two years. That's right. 
Okay, and then he went on to, did he threaten you? Huh? Um, he said, it's, I, I'm reading up a little bit about it, and it says he went on to threaten Michael and Eileen, that's yourself and your sister. Um, oh, he did. Intended he, to distribute. He did. He did. Well, uh, Mr. Robert Mansell is to refuse to award Michael Gavin the grant money, which was paid down from the Department of Agriculture. And Michael is owed, and also work done and services rendered. And Michael is owed over 116,000 for nine years. And uh, minding the farm, minding the farm animals, right? Yes. Robert Mar- Marin Solicitor held on to the funds from the land sale for over two years and then um, <clears throat> finally awarded Michael Gavin and, he, and myself 12,500 plus interest less than what we were entitled to. Right. Um, <clears throat> He also um, did not allow myself um, three and a half thousand, which was supposed to be, um, you know, taken from my amount uh, that, that was due to me because of the, it stated animals which I owned, and and that is incorrect because I never owned any animals. Uh-huh. Now there were people that were not paid also, like for instance. Willie Pinrose, PD, was not paid for his opinion by, uh, since the, uh, whilst the estate was charged for same. Robert Marn, solicitor, um, squandered the estate assets and hired an additional accountant at a cost of €8,750. Euros, mm. When in fact we had, there was another accountant which was quite capable of doing all this work, but this was an additional accountant that he hired. Now, he also um, did not provide any detailed bill of costs for the fee of, for his own fee of over 40,892 euros, which he awarded to himself. Uh, The bill of costs were uh, there was no bill of cost provided for T and N McGlenn solicitors as a loan, and um, they were paid an amount of um, thirty-eight thousand over yeah. over thirty-eight thousand. Wow. Okay. A, the- year, a year a year prior to the closing. Now, um, I just wish to say that. Um, Prior to um, Mr. Marin closing it, uh, we wrote to him and, you know, regarding uh, trying to get our money because we were waiting for so long for this amount of money to get our share of of the land sale and and for my brother to get his amount of grant money plus work done and services rendered. And... um, we asked him to go, in, in the letter we wrote to him, we asked him to go to the court and to find out exactly how the estate should be, you know, divided up. Mm. And he wrote back and threatened us with a letter stating that he was closing us, or he, he, he uh, threatened us that we should go and get, uh, more or less take proceedings against him, or otherwise get a solicitor and take proceedings against him, or otherwise, he was closing it at a certain date. Wow! But that's the that that is the story about it. So this is and absolute uh, absolute corruption, Eileen. I mean, this is a it go- is yes, it is corruption. And I, and, and, I mean, I, and, and, and another thing I want to tell you uh-huh. is, we are having a peaceful pro- uh, protest on this Friday, and outside Mr. Marin's office in Castle Street in Mullingar. Right, and, and it's going to continue. It's going to continue until we get. Our demands met, which we are due. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes. It, it makes perfect sense. And listen, well done for standing up against these corrupt shysters. Because shout all you want, protest all you like. Shout all you want, protest all you like.